What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Before we get into today's topic, there's only two days left to enter that PC giveaway going on, on the channel. We're going to announce a winner by the end of the week, so make sure if you haven't entered that giveaway, you have already. I actually have a surprise giveaway coming out next time too, so make sure you hit the bell icon and get subscribed um, if you haven't already to the channel. But let's talk about today's topic. So, Intel's in deep sh and let me explain what I mean. Steve over at Gamers Nexus, um, uh, probably the most analytical YouTuber that gets, you know, it's just facts, no fluff. I absolutely love his channel. I uh, released a video a couple days ago about how Intel was basically full of it when they were showcasing their 28 CPU um, at five gigahertz. And after kind of delving into this topic, I wanted to share my opinion as well. The full video, by the way, is gonna be linked in the description below so you can watch his analysis, which is obviously much thorough and much better informed than myself. But basically, this is what it breaks down to. Intel was advertising this 28 core CPU um, that it was basically like a new product that was able to hit five gigahertz in direct um, competition to uh, basically Threadripper. Now I've said it on the channel before, I'm not an Intel or AMD fanboy. I was on Intel for five straight years because AMD for lack of a better word sucked and didn't have anything to offer. And look, AMD's by no means in the clear. They have zero GPU threat right now against NVIDIA, which is why we don't have any new NVIDIA GPUs currently sitting. So they're not absolved of, of like responsibility for kind of the situation we're in right now. That being said, Intel pulled a very, very crappy move. Basically, they showcased, as Steve believes, a existing CPU that um, is not going to be able to easily hit, uh, hit the heat that it did. It was most likely deleted. They used a chiller, which they refused to show. It was all wrapped in duct tape. And basically, they it, the chiller kept it at sub ambient temperatures, meaning it was less than uh, less than like room, like m minus ten or something like that. And then they just kind of showcased it as a new product, like that's the way they spun the tail. Now, what was interesting is when they were kind of called out on it, they the rep from Intel basically said, "Oh, we're sorry. In the in the heat of the moment, in the excitement, we forgot to mention that the CPU, um, you know, was being chilled this way, or we were overclocking it." Um, basically that this wasn't like a stock speed that would be like me hooking up with a gr girl and be like well in the heat of moment I just forgot to use protection like it's not maybe it's not at the same level but it's like that kind of misleading representation now to be fair Intel obviously is in been a very bad position which is why they've been hiring all these people the other thing that's interesting is that recently one of the CEOs over at Intel came out saying that AMD is most likely going to take market share away with their epic CPUs in servers this is huge because this is kind of where Intel's bread and butter is made. Now, the impact to their, basically their bottom line probably isn't gonna be incredibly significant. Some estimates are as high as 20, 25%. Conservatively, um, Intel says it'll be around 10%. That's still about a one eight billion dollar swing in uh, uh, AMD's favor, I should say, not Ryzen, AMD's favor, which would be huge because that would be basically like 40% more than their entire revenue for the year. And so AMD is finally stepping up their game and finally showing up where Intel's complacency has put them in a position where they're completely on the defensive. I don't know what we're gonna see in terms of what Intel's gonna be able to churn out over the next year or two because obviously the hiring Roger Kaduri and uh, you know some other um, key players, we're probably not gonna see any products out of them until you know 2021, 22. It's gonna take three or four years to develop these products. So they're just kind of scrambling to fill in the gaps. In the meantime, AMD's gonna swoop in, still at market share, good for them, right? I mean, I'm all about competition. Meanwhile, Nvidia continues to sit you know, on top of the hill, you know, counting the obscene amount of money they're making because they just don't have any competition. But Intel, get it together, man. We want good CPUs, we want good products, we want good value. Not that you haven't been providing that, but holy crap, I mean, like, it, this does not reflect well at all, especially for people who are enthusiasts or people who are paying attention. And thank God Steve was. I, I loved his video breakdown and all this, so I recommend you guys all watch that. Anyway, guys, that was just kind of my opinion on this whole situation. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed either way, guys. My channel continues to grow. Remember to hit the bell icon. We're going to be announcing the winner really soon. As always, Patreon guys, love you all. Thank you for your support. Twitch subs, we are having so much fun on the weekend. And as far as everyone who wants to continue to support my channel, make sure you use my Amazon affiliate link to do so if you so choose. But as always, I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.